When I pick up the vlog camera, when I pick up the camera, the baby decides to do extra. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Okay. Hey, my guys. Hey my loves, how are you guys doing? I know I haven't vlogged in a couple of days and that's because of this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that. I've just been so miserable and so exhausted the last couple of days and I know it's like the pre-labor spiel because I am, I've been nesting 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 ooh, and cramping and contracting and it's annoying but it's getting there so <laughs> i finally went through all the clues that was in this box i took out all the clues that the kids couldn't fit anymore and all the clues that we got i swatched, swapped them out for the kids and then I went through my thing of clothes reorganized it put all the clothes on top that actually can fit or I'm willing to wear now yeah and then the only thing that's left to do is pack me a hospital bag which I'm just gonna use what I already have I'm probably gonna use my big purple bag and throw some clothes in there and yeah that's probably all I'm going to do. Throw a whole bunch of clothes in there. And that's it. Um, and then all that's left for us to do is to get a car seat and get a car seat and uh, what else? Oh, and I totally have to go get some sleepers. Because I'm not taking the baby home in a onesie with no socks or anything. Because, yeah, I just don't, I don't know. You moms know what I'm talking about. He thinks I'm crazy or I'm just like rationally being paranoid or I just want this, all this extra stuff, but we, we moms know. Cause I just, I just don't, I don't know. When you wanna bring the baby home, regardless if it's a cute outfit or something, it doesn't have to be like extravagant or anything exciting for the baby to come home in, but you at least want the baby to be comfortable and warm you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. I told him to go get a sleeper for the baby. Um, Just one, either if it's buttoned up or whatever. And he only works down the street from, he works down the street from Goodwill. So, I told him to just pop in there and grab like one or two. And it's not going to cost as much. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm getting ready now to go to my appointment. And, yeah, I have my appointment today, and then Wednesday I have my ultrasound, which I'm more excited about my ultrasound because then I get to see the baby. If the baby's not nuzzled deep down in my my vagina. Yeah. Y'all know how that is. Whew. I'm out of breath. I'm so more out of breath than I was before. Look at this. Look at this belly. And none of my shirts fit. I gave up trying to fit my shirts. Most of <laughs> most of my shirts now fit like right here. I don't know if you've seen my last vlog, my one vlog where my shirt was like literally right here, and I actually kept trying to push it down. This one is semi decent, and these pants I'm gonna wear them for today, and then I'm gonna wash them, and then put them in my bag for when I have the baby. So yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, this is probably going to be my, uh, going home outfit, just to be honest. I'm only, I'm only wearing it. I'm only wearing it so that 
I'm going to go to my appointment today, which is probably going to be like 10 minutes. And I think after this appointment, I have to go like every week to my appointment, which sucks. And I've been trying to be, what is it, patient. I've been trying to be like understanding and positive about the whole living situation I'm just if you are a mom and you know like the whole dynamics then you understand what how I'm feeling and you understand why I'm so frustrated as a like how the situation is going because I just feel like for all the the, the bullshit that we've been going through we could have been moved out and got a place instead of just sitting around waiting I don't know that's just how I feel about the whole situation. Hopefully, we hear something by the end of the week again. And if not, I'm, my bag, my bag's already packed. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Like, my bag's already packed. I'm ready to just go back to Pennsylvania and just... Like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm so discouraged right now. And I think that mostly has to do with the fact that I'm about to have this baby soon. And I just want to have a decent house. Yeah. So, I'm thinking about it. But yeah, I'm just chilling out until my ride gets here. They should be here around like 1030. I hope, I'm hoping when I go to this appointment, they check me. Because I think I'm more than a centimeter and a half. Last time when I was like 28... I think it was like 28 weeks 29 weeks I think yeah when I went to my when I was having when I went into preterm labor and they checked me I was one and a half centimeters I want that I kind of want them to check me again because I can I swear I'm like at least three and part of me like I want to have this baby now because I'm so uncomfortable and I'm miserable and I can't really do or do what I want or be as comfortable as I want and it's not so much being comfortable sleeping or anything like that like it's not a problem it's just it's not my home so it's like I'm not comfortable I'm like eerie and everything so it's like I can't be I'm not content if that makes sense I'm at my appointment I have to do the coach trip test I guess it is okay. and then this one really it's just a swab I'm so uncomfortable they took me early so I don't know what to do for like an hour <coughs> I'm a sushi I don't know why I'm so obsessed with sushi I don't want my soul Based off of what she told me, is if I do have it, then when I go on labor, they'll just give me the medicine. But I hope I don't have it because that puts the baby at a higher risk. I probably think I'm talking to myself.
is pretty nice. <clears throat> but it's like old, if that makes sense. Like it's historical. So like all the buildings are pretty much the original. Except for the ones back here. Those look like they've just been built. I see a bakery, so I'm gonna see if I have enough to get something to drink because I'm thirsty. But at the same time, I don't want to get something to drink because I don't want to have to go pee. Oh, okay. Oh. <sighs> have anything to drink but I got a donut <laughs> it smells so good in here I couldn't pass up the donut so now I have like 40 minutes until my ride shows up and I don't want to keep walking around because then I'm gonna want to take a nap later so I don't know what to do with myself besides either this donut <laughs> Look at this. Perfectly free desk. It doesn't have like look like anything wrong with it. It just looks like it's in good shape. Wish I had a car in our own place, because I would definitely take that and change the color. That's why I love towns like this. Find stuff. To do to me it's always something to do and like if you go down further um there's actually a park it's like 10 blocks but to new york people it's like well let me rephrase that to me it's like 10 blocks but they're like 10 New York blocks, if that makes sense. They're like extremely long blocks. Alrighty. I know people are already looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm vlogging, but I don't care. I'm getting more comfortable with vlogging while I'm outside compared to when I first started vlogging. I used to be so scared to vlog outside, but now I just like, it doesn't bother me anymore like it used to. But I'm gonna enjoy this day and See how it tastes. Come on, come on now. And since I already have jelly donuts at that in the room, I figure I get a one that's filled with custard, and it's fresh and homemade. Like it's not one of those like you get in the box in the store. It's actually a bakery. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So it tastes just like a bakery, like it tastes like bakery freshness. Yes. Bakery freshness is where it's at. And it's got sugar all over it. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Sorry, Krispy Kreme. If you had a shop near us, I probably would. Like Krispy Kreme better. But because we have to buy it from like the actual grocery store, it's not the same. Hey guys, so it's hours later. Hours later. It's evening. I 
the new people. The little so, boxes so, uh, I just got off the phone with Leon. He has yeah. to do a double yeah. shift again. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you doing, sir? Nobody wants to see the pad and the pencil. I don't want you to see me. Well, then get out of here. I want them to see me. Mommy and Cardi are chance of meatballs. Boy. Um, I'm the, the Go mayor, sit down. The mayor started biting One, on the metal. Two. The mayor started biting when y'all. Put that bag underneath there. You gotta keep him occupied by giving him stuff to do. So, just got off the phone with Leon, and now he has to work double shifts um means he has to work all day so i mentioned to the doctor that i was contracting so she did she put me on the monitor to do like an arm stress test to see how i was contracting and everything and apparently i'm contracting every half an hour um to me it feels like every hour but she said that because I, because, I, because i have a high tolerance for pain um I'm probably not, to me it's not uh, as bad, because I told her that when I'm feeling like I'm contracting, it just feels like, I just feel my stomach tightening, so I'm assuming that every half an hour that I'm contracting, it's just, to me it feels like Braxton Hicks, but then when I'm actually, the, the actual hour that I'm contracting, I feel the more intense pain to it, so she was like that, baby's gonna come in at any time. No, get out of the box. So she was like that anytime. Maybe we can come at any time, so I should prepare my hospital bag. Why are you why are you yelling? Sit down, like I told you. So she said to prepare my hospital bag, so I just told Leon to grab a couple of things for me since he works at Family Dollar, so it kinda makes it easy since he works there and he pretty much knows what to buy and really all I need to buy, buy underwear um pads and then no mm -hmm. oh. I thought you meant like pads for him but <laughs> um so he said I told him just to grab a sl sleepers for the baby a pack of diapers like a small pack of diapers um and underwear for me and pads that's pretty much it um i'm not i mentioned this before but i'm not really a big hospital bag packer i usually pack just clothes for myself and clothes for the baby and that's it um the hospital pretty much provides you everything you get like the mesh underwear they give you those big ass pads um they send you home with like your own little container of like the tux pads they give you like the the squirt bottle and then they give you like the little pan for the sits baths so and i usually have no problems with what the hospital provides and then i don't go extra with buying like toiletries and everything because me personally when i'm giving birth i really don't give a shit how i look i usually just <laughs> uh go with the flow of how things are and since i'm breastfeeding they usually give you like your own little pack for They sh that doesn't mean it's mine. Look at your hair. No, I'm talking about the curly noodles. It looks like curly hair. Oh. So, um, and then when you're in the hospital, they usually give you, they usually have, like, individual, um, packs for, like, the, the flange and the tubing for the hospital pumps, um, because... They usually have like the symphony breast pumps and since it's multiple users they usually provide um the stuff for you to have it so since now i'm contracting like every half an hour um she pretty much just said you know since you already had two preemie babies i'm not expecting you to go past 38 weeks and to call me if your water breaks or if the contractions gets like five minutes apart that's you exciting. Give me the so baby will be here sooner than I thought. Why are you guys yelling? Turn down the TV because the TV wasn't that loud. Down. If you want to hear it, don't talk. So I'm. I'm really not trying to buy a car seat. So 
I'm trying to see if I can call around and see if I can find an agency or somebody that is willing to offer us a car seat. Um, I was trying to get through like two on one and they're busy. So I was like, I'll call tomorrow because it's six o'clock at night, even though they're available 24 seven. Um, they have different hotlines for different reasons of what you need for. I know there's one place that I can go to that offers like car seats, diapers, wipes, um, formula, maternity clothes, baby clothes and all that for pregnant women. But I don't remember, like, I can't find the information because I had the information, but I can't find it. It's not like I can't go out and buy it, but if I ain't got to pay for it, I'm going to save my monies. Yes. Mama's trying to save her monies. So, yeah. If I don't have to buy it, I'm not going to go out and waste my money buying something when I can get it for free. This is going to be the vlog for today. We're not going to be doing nothing. So I figure I end the vlog now. Let you give you guys a quick update about what's going on. I don't plan on finishing out Veda because it's it's not so much the contractions; it's the lower back pain that's bothering me, and I think that's why I'm not realizing that that I'm contracting every half an hour because I have the constant lower back pain. So when I do have the contraction, it just tightens up. The only thing that I'm noticing that's different this time around is the contractions are like in my lower back but then when I'm having like the, the actual contraction itself and my stomach is tightening up it's uh going to the front into my hips and down my leg that's what's painful I'll see you guys next time hopefully it's sooner than later and yeah bye